Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at the GameStop exclusive Imperial Shock Trooper uh, from the Star Wars Black series. One thing I do want to mention um, is that this figure has been released before as a Walmart exclusive, um, and I don't own that original one, but as far as I can tell, this one is almost identical in every way. Uh, but if any of you do own that one, um, let me know down in the comment section if you notice any like little differences uh, between those two figures. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into the review by looking at the packaging. So as you can see here, uh, pretty standard for what we see out of the Black Series. Nice big window here on the front. Now down in the corner, there are some red accents. Um, on this image down in the corner, which I do think looks nice. Uh, when you flip it over onto the back, you can see they don't continue them onto the back of the packaging though. There is also a brief description. And of course, if you'd like to read that, you can go ahead and just pause the video. So anyway, overall, pretty standard stuff. So let's go ahead and get back to the figure itself. Now, this shock trooper stands at exactly six inches tall. So he's right in scale with all of your other Black Series figures, and he does come with two accessories. The first one here is his blaster. I think this is called an E11. Um, no paintwork or anything on this one, which is a little disappointing. I would have liked to have seen maybe some dry brushing or little silver accents on there, uh, but it does function. And one other thing, um, of course, it does slip into the holster on his belt. Sorry, it's hard to do this on camera. There we go. Uh, his second accessory is this blaster rifle. As you can see, this one does actually have some dry brushing, which makes a big difference on these. I think it makes them look much better. Just brings out all of the detail. Uh, but this one, of course, we've seen um, several times um, as it's been released, you know, with uh, several other figures. Uh, so overall, this figure is uh, pretty good looking and pretty well articulated. We'll go ahead and run through it, even though it is the same as all of the other stormtroopers. He's got a ball peg in the head, really nice range of motion, and then a hinge in the neck. Um, pretty much anything you want to do with this guy, you can. It works fantastic. One problem I do have is that the shoulders on my figure are absolutely frozen shut, um, and I haven't tried heating them up yet or anything, uh, but just be aware that it's probably going to be pretty frozen up when you buy this figure. Typically, there is a ball hinge there with a swivel, um, and it doesn't get the greatest range of motion just because the armor kind of interferes. There is a bicep swivel underneath there, double jointed elbows with a really nice range of motion on there. Then he's got hinged wrists. I don't know if you can see that right there. Hinged wrist with a swivel. Um, pretty decent range on there. Again, they're a little bit frozen up because this guy's new. Um, and on this side, the hinge runs vertically through the hand, and on this side, it runs horizontally. Here in the torso, he's got what feels like it could be a double ball peg or a single ball peg. Hard to tell uh, without pulling the figure apart, but nice range of motion there nevertheless. He's got T-jointed hips, excellent range there going out to the sides. Not the greatest coming forward, um, but honestly, not the biggest deal in the world. He's got a thigh swivel, double-jointed knees with an excellent range, and then finally a hinged ankle with ankle rockers. So overall, pretty well articulated. I imagine you can probably get these shoulder and wrist joints um, unfrozen uh, just by heating it up with a hairdryer or something. Uh, so overall, I think that this is a really nice figure. And I did try originally to get the Walmart exclusive one. I wasn't able to get a hold of it. So I'm glad that they re-released it, especially because this is one of the most bootlegged figures, uh, Black Series figures, I've ever seen. I would say do not buy a loose version of this figure. It will probably be a bootleg. Just a warning uh, for anybody out there who buys a lot of loose figures. So anyway, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. And I guess I'll see you later.